In this video, I'm going to talk about if JavaScript is asynchronous or synchronous. I'm going to talk about JavaScript engine, event queue, and asynchronous callbacks. So let's get started. Dev delight, development done right. A flex, it's time to get it hype. Tune in, trust you don't want to miss teaching you programming and coding and JavaScript. All up. So the first thing we need to know, what does asynchronous mean? It means more than one at a time. However, JavaScript is actually synchronous, means it executes one line of a code at a time. So it goes line by line. Besides JavaScript engine, there's also other elements and engines running in the browser. For example, there's a JavaScript engine running, but there's also a rendering engine that prints things to our browser screen. And there are also HTTP requests running. And all of this happens asynchronously. So the key to remember, JavaScript itself is synchronous but everything that's running inside the browser is asynchronous. JavaScript has special hooks that interact with all these other elements such as rendering to the screen, doing HTTP requests. In my previous videos, I talked about JavaScript global execution contacts and when we have functions, they also have their own execution contacts. But there's also another context that's called event queue so think of this box as a global execution context where all our main code runs. Let's say we have a function test that will create a test execution context on the top of the stack. Now here we have our test execution context. And then there's also something that's called the event queue. So the event queue has events. Whenever some event happens in the browser outside the JavaScript engine, it gets placed into that event queue. For example, in JavaScript, you can listen for an event when someone clicks on the button and it will get placed there. The way that works is JavaScript runs all the code in our function execution context. Then it runs all the code in our global execution context and checks event queue. One thing to understand and keep in mind here is all of this happens so fast that the user won't really notice any of this unless there's some kind of a long request that slows down the execution. As this event queue gets populated with events, JavaScript keeps checking if there's an event and if we have some kind of code associated with that event. For example, we might have a button that got clicked, so a click event gets placed into event. event queue. If we have a function associated with the click, that's also called a click handler. So when someone clicks a button, our function gets executed and the new click handler execution context gets created. So as you notice, this is still synchronous because it executes the code line by line, then it checks if there's event queue event, and then it goes and executes that code and goes back. Let me demonstrate. And we'll give it ID my button. And we'll just place click here text. Now, in our JavaScript, we're going to create a set interval function. And this set interval function will just console log inside set interval. Now, let's set up a click handler for a button. So we'll select our button by ID, which we created, my button. And then we'll add event listener. And we're going to be listening for the click event. And when our button gets clicked, we're going to alert. You clicked me. Another way to do this is actually to create a function. Let's call it button click handler. And let's write, you clicked me here. And now let's do the same thing we did at the top. We'll select our button by ID and then we'll add event listener, click. Instead of writing out our function definition here, we'll just link button click handler. And our button click handler will be our anonymous callback function that gets executed when the button gets clicked. So let's refresh and see what we got here. As you can see, every three seconds, inside set interval is printing once we click click here button 
that event will be placed into event queue. Our set interval will execute. Then JavaScript engine will check if there's something in the event queue. It will execute it and go back executing set interval again. So check this out. You click, as you can see, you click me. And right now set interval is not executing because we went to the event queue and start executing that code that handles the click here button. And if you click OK, it keeps on executing after. So I hope you learned that JavaScript is synchronous and how the browser itself and all the other elements are asynchronous when they interact with each other and understand what event queue is and how JavaScript handles that as well. Enjoy, share, subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Development done right, hey, yeah, development done right.